What we try to do is to gather the magic ingredients of West Cork, which of course includes the landscape and the seascape and the sailing and the walking and the engagement in West Cork with food. We build a lot of events around those magic ingredients so that people can have kind of adventures in a sense. It's to give the whole variety of experiences and to enjoy all the treasures that West Cork has. It's about food, but it's about storytelling, about music. It's just so creative and that's what uh, enthuses me that I just enjoy the difference in the event. We draw a lot of people who are interested in food and a bit of adventure, so it creates that whole buzz around people who want to meet food producers, uh, people who have not probably travelled to islands before. It's creating that accessibility, that special trip to Whiddy Island, you know, to experience all the history and joys of Whiddy. The Taste West Cork Festival gives us a great chance then to bring people to the island who wouldn't, I don't think any of the walkers have been here before today. So that's always good to show people the island for the first time, to show them the history in the island. We do a guided walk on the island, but we usually go the day before and we get some Bantry Bay mussels and we catch some mackerel and fillet them and, and smoke them in our own smoker here and serve that with, with brown bread afterwards. This is really what brings local tourism together, you know, somebody local doing the walk, selling the place, telling the story and the food, oh, you know, fresh air and food and seafood, wonderful. We're trying to make it easy for all visitors to plug into those special experiences and they're all there in the programme. Tonight was a chance to showcase all the local producers and of course the main events with the lobster and the seafood which is only landed two miles off of Port McSherry Bay. It's just a showcase of what's on our doorstep in Port McSherry. The story of the Caravino is that you're in a tiny caravan but you're actually on a journey through the vineyards of Europe. So all the wines that you're going to be tasting are from family owned wineries around Europe. I met a, a couple from New York who were choosing between either Tuscany or A Taste of West Cork for their food-themed holiday, and they chose here. And they kind of got the whole world. 